Bruce, thank you very much. Tonight, a bright future ahead for La Trobe City Energy. The officials say the club is in its best position in years. Fresh from one of the most successful seasons in recent history, the energy has turned its sights to next year and beyond. On the court, the energy just enjoyed one of its most successful seasons. We've had a really positive year. We've had four out of eight teams uh, make finals in the state level. Um, our Big V men uh, made uh, finals for the first time in many years. We had our under 14 girls um, get the top four in the state. Uh, and our under 16 two side girls, uh, they won a championship in their division on the weekend. Things are looking up off the court too. We're in the best position I think we've been in, in many years uh, and looking to build on that for next year. The Trove City Energy is shooting hoops in the community. This year we ran um, a new arrivals program on a Saturday morning and that was really successful. We're now in early talks with uh, an Indigenous program or Koori program and trying to get uh, those young people playing basketball at the elite level as well. Its role in the community as a peak sporting organisation will also be considered in coming months as the club undergoes a significant development phase. We're looking at community structure, we're looking at a vision statement and, and, a, and I guess a strategic plan for the future, uh, potentially new uniforms for next year, so looking at uh, building on our Orange Nation theme. Preparations for next season are about to start tryouts for the Energy's Victorian Junior Basketball League teams. We've got tryouts starting in October for our VJBL teams. It's looking really positive at the moment. We've got all our coaches appointed. Uh, we look like having more teams than we've ever had before. Brooke Van Newton, Wing News.